Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm welcome to you all to Travel Vlog Jamie. And indeed, welcome to Southampton. Oh yes, it's embarkation day. I have a week to look forward to on p and Iona sailing Northern Europe. Are you ready for this? Are you ready to cruise my way? Let's do this. Let's check out the itinerary ahead of us. The original itinerary was for Hamburg, Rotterdam and Zeebrugge. Unfortunately, a sunken vessel near our berth in Hamburg means a change of port. We'll now be heading to Bremerhaven. Well, my darlings, I've just spent a night at the Great Hotel just on Oxford Street and I'm going to walk to uh, Ocean Cruise Tunnel. It's just through the park and literally across that road there. I'm coming for you, Iona. Come on, Mr. Googly Eyes, my darling. It's his last outing, by the way. He's going into retirement after this trip. I'm really sorry. I know it's upset a lot of you. And about eight minutes later, we made it. Welcome to Ocean Terminal. Sorry, that was really loud. We made it. You know, I'm not really sorry, don't you? <laughs> You know, Iona measures at 344 meters and has 15 guest decks. She has just over 2,600 cabins and a normal operating capacity of 5,200 guests. First thing to do is to drop off your luggage. Now, I've already got my luggage label. You can access them uh, from your PO account. If for any reason you can't, don't worry, they'll give you your luggage labels uh, complete with your cabin number at the terminal. Please don't panic. Don't forget to keep aside your tickets, money, and passport, your boarding pass, which you can download and print off at home. Might want to put aside any medication you might require as well, just in case your luggage takes a little bit longer to arrive at your cabin. And why not bring a, a, a change of knickers, uh, swimming trunks? You could go for a swim before everyone else. This number and letter refer to which luggage pod you need to drop your bags off. There we go, number five right ahead. See you later, Mr. Googly Eyes. And into the terminal we go. And can you see the desk right behind me is where you would pick up your luggage labels if you weren't able to print them off at home. No problem. Trying to resist having a nice coffee before I go into the terminal. I must resist. Already, I'm ready for you. No zigzagging outside required today, folks. Lovely. Departure time. Up the escalator we go. Oh, I get to use priority lane for once. Finally in Caribbean tier. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. If, like me, you've entered all your personal details, registered a card to your account uh, back at home, the check-in process is super efficient. They literally just check your passport and then stamp your boarding pass. Okay to board. I'm okay to board and I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Next job, security. Well, I've been here 10 minutes and I'm now boarding the ship. Super smooth and efficient. Just like me. You knew I was going to say that, didn't you? I know, I know. I need to get some new lines. Get some new material, Jamie. Hello, baby. Oh, I wonder if Mr. Googly Eyes is down there already. We're walking, we're walking, we're walking. Oh, by the way, your cruise key card to the world, making it sound like Disney World, aren't I? We'll be waiting for you outside your cabin. Oh, we're nearly there. Make sure you've got your boarding pass to hand. Obligatory, I'm on the ship shot ready. Boom, boom, boom. We made it. I am Master Station D, which happens to be right here. Apparently, it's this man's birthday in the cup. I've got to say happy birthday to him. As it? suspected, it wasn't his birthday. <laughs> Alex, you're playing tricks with everyone. Uh, anyway, I'm all mustard. Yes, that sounds weird. I'm mustard, like Colonel. It just so happens my muster station is right by Vista's coffee shop. Someone's just come up to me and said, Hi, Jamie, are you going to get a nice latte yet? It's this gentleman here, actually. Um, I might well do, you know. And welcome to Iona's Grand Atrium. I'm just quietening it down because I realise I'm so excited. I'm literally shouting, aren't I? And some of you will try and drag me for that. Bite me. I know it might not sound very holiday-like, but the first thing we're going to do is connect to myholiday.pocruises.com using the ship's Wi-Fi for free uh, and try and book some entertainment like the 710 Club, which gets very busy, and maybe the Olive Grove for a lunch or a dinner at some point. And here's how to use the myholiday.pocruises.com not app app not app app webpage. Turn on airplane mode, connect to PO Cruises guest Wi-Fi, visit myholiday.pocruises.com, use the last six digits of your cruise card to log in, and all of this is for free. You'll also be prompted to enter some of your personal details, such as your surname and date of birth. Once connected, you'll be able to join virtual queues for some of the restaurants, book speciality dining, although remember you can book some restaurants two weeks in advance by logging into your PO account. 
You'll also be able to book shore excursions, buy Wi-Fi packages, or indeed log in and use Wi-Fi if you already purchased a package prior to embarkation. And there are some excellent deals to be had right now. I paid £64 for the week, just £9 per day, and it works brilliantly now that p have teamed up with Starlink Internet. You can, of course, make any of these purchases face-to-face -face once on board. I must tell you, because I'm traveling solo, I've got an inside cabin. Um, I'm not a fan of them on board, I know, but let's see what this one's like. Here we go. Pop your card or any card, actually. I'll be using my boots card later in the slot to illuminate. Here we are. And don't you worry, my darlings. I will, of course, give you a full tour and review later in this trip. For me, on my own, I think it's fine. It's okay. Now then, for those of you who are new to PO, you're gonna get a Horizon newsletter delivered to your cabin every evening, telling you what's on, who's who, where to go, where not to go, and who to do. Oh, look, it's Captain Wesley. Oh, God bless him, I love him. I absolutely fanboy over this man. And he's married to the beautiful, the delectable Fiona. Don't forget, once you get to your cabin, you need to watch the safety drill on the television. Otherwise, you're doomed. Now then, I've never had a priority lunch on board as a member of the Peninsula Club. I'm going in. And this is the Pearl main dining room. This is how naive I am, because I've not done this before. I didn't realise it's buffet style. Uh, I thought you'd just sit, get a menu, order. <laughs> I've been sat there for some time chatting to a lovely gentleman to my left. Um, eventually realised, go get the food yourself. I'm good with that. Oh, this is quite nice actually and they also have quite a lot of indian nibbles and food which i'm very pleased about and roast dinners and of course those all-important desserts gluten-free nut-free just looking for low sugar they tend to have lots of low sugar on piano as well which is great shout out to cameron and daddy who's cameron my brother where is he he's over there oh he's over there Okay, well, he'll now see this on video. Lovely. Nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you, Jamie. <laughs> At the loyalty lunch, you can also get free wine and or beer. Oh, a lovely piano curry for me lunch. Winning. And there we have my first loyalty lunch on piano. Very nice, actually. And I love the pearl. You know you're approaching the pole because of these um, um, uh, pearls. I can't help but want to touch, but I don't want to get dirty hands. Before I hit the hard stuff, I want to try an iced latte at Vista's Coffee Shop. Oh, who's that? Now then, folky folks, if you want coffees, teas, juice, water, you can get them from the Keys and the Horizon Buffet. However, in Vista's, things come with a surcharge. This is speciality coffee and tea. I'm not sure why it's referred to as speciality. I mean, it's like Costa. Oh gosh, sorry Costa, I do love you. First iced, iced latte of the cruise. It looks good. No sugar, he assured me. Yes. Oh, it's a good one, Vistas, thank you. Oh me goodness, I do love a bit of atrium life, I must say. Oh, and by the way, there are some staff down here helping uh, passengers with the myholiday.pocruises.com not app, 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 not app, app webpage. Matthew always wonders how I actually manage anything to do with IT when he's not around. It's true, I'm pretty useless. But I just want to point out, I've done everything on my own today and I'm feeling super proud of myself and I might go have a swim and a cocktail to celebrate. I don't care that it's winter, fight me. I love how open plan and airy this atrium feels. I said airy, not hairy, by the way. You got the Keel and Cow restaurant over here. The sprinkles, gelateria. We've got a bar down here. You've got the glass house restaurant plus the glass house bar. And deep down there, you've got beautiful vistas and the emerald lounge. Controversial deck eight, prom deck. I don't know why it's controversial, honestly. You know, like cruise ships of old, they had loads of cabins along prom deck, just like this one does. I think you need to get over it. I really do. And you get these fantastic infinity hot tubs as well along from deck. I love them. I really do love them, my darlings. Hello, Jamie. Great to be on the blog. And oh, sorry, vlog. <laughs> and uh, shout out to uh, Becky Teal and uh, Cameron, who again isn't in shot. And actually, that's your other half, isn't it? Another son. Uh, it is, yes. Yeah, met earlier. What a small world. It is indeed. <laughs> Take care, have a good one. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. Oh, Captain Wesley, are you up there? It's Jamie, it's Jamie, it's your biggest fan. Oh, look who's here already, Mr. Googly Eyes. Hello. I'm one of those people that once your luggage arrives, I've got to unpack. I just have to, OCD kicks straight in. 
A little tip for you folks, don't forget that under your lamps in your cabin, there is a USB port. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, my darling. No, look, I've had a Nibbles cupboard drum already. Oh, oh the drummer. My cabin steward is gonna be. <laughs> Don't forget, folks, you can push those cases under your bed if you want a bit more space. And just like that, all unpacked. Thank you, Jamie. And whilst we are on the subject of unpacking, here are a few items I like to travel with to make it feel, you know, home from home. Consider them tips or throw them in the bin. I don't mind either way. My super concentrated squirty squash. Calming pillow mist for those rough nights. Nibbles for those peckish moments, minus the Doritos, damn it. There is a fridge in your cabin and you're allowed to bring on board one liter of booze per adult sharing a cabin. I've also got some water and my sugar-free Red Bull. Thank you, Jesus. I may be sailing solo, but I've got my Valentine's card from home. I am loved. Air freshener or reed diffuser for the bathroom. A bit of home comfort pampering. There's a laundrette on every passenger deck with cabins, but I do like my crease releaser. Just don't get on on the floor, otherwise you'll oh, slip, is what I meant to say. And for when I'm getting ready and having a little drinky poos in my cabin, I've got this contraption. I'll show you what it does a little bit later. All right, I love a bit of sunset bar, especially as the sun is setting. Sure. Cheers to you, lovely couple just come to say hello. Cheers, nice oh, to cheers, meet you. Oh, cheers, Jamie. Cheers. <laughs> Look, it's lovely family. You so are Frank and Angela. And Victoria. It's so nice to meet you at last. And you too. Oh, we're talking over the Capitan. Going <laughs> 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 to get in a lot of trouble with Wesley. Have a lovely Christmas. Have a great time. Yeah. All right, so what's going on in the clubhouse? It is nearly sail away time and I've come to the buffet for a little snack prior to dinner, believe it or not. Why? Because I'm hungry and because I can. There you go. Do what you want on your holiday, I'll do what I want. We always have this conversation, you know we do. You'll never believe what I'm searching for in the buffet. Guess, guess, guess. You'll never believe this. I'm having soup and I'm having soup, yep two bowls jamie this is the poolside grill in the sky dome uh, taste 360 look bite me i'm having more food this is still my pre-starter starter before dinner later ah here's a look at the sky dome on iona now there's a good sized pool down here at the moment they're setting up for the evening's show so expect dancing music aerialists look we'll come back here another time don't you worry got all week we're on the move Bye, smelly old Southampton. See you in a week. All right, we're near the front of the ship now, up high, high, high. This is the beachcomber pool, which is adults only for this cruise, but is the water swimmable in? Oh, wow, that is like bath water. That is heated beautifully. I am getting in that tomorrow. Alrighty, it is time to spruce up these old bones. Please be hot and powerful. Please be hot and powerful. Please ah, be hot and powerful. Here's another tip for you folks. Point that shower hose in a different direction to yourself. Oh, that is nice. Ta-da! All spruced up. And also, new shirt alert. Ooh. Love it. Let's get a bit of cruise radio on. We need bridge view and cruise radio. Yeah, come on, let's do this. Oh, yes. Right, you may be aware there's no turn down anymore on piano in the evening, so I'm doing my own turn down. I mean, honestly, p &O, if you're watching and you want me to do all your turndowns on your ships, I can do it within seconds. Let's go cause some mischief. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, I'm in my beloved glass house. Always get a seat here. Always get served quickly, actually. Now, you know my friend Ollie Murs. I mean, Smith. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Pick some great wines for the glass house. I was tempted by the Romanian Pinot Grigio, but I am going mango, meat, mandarin all the way with a wine from Greece. Oh, I love a bit of wine and atrium life, I must say. Hey, everybody. Two lovely people here. Try that's trying to steal my wine, actually, aren't you? Hey, I am, yes. Yeah. How are you both? Very well, thank you, Jamie. Apparently, you've been following my tips. We have, yes. <laughs> yes. Does that mean you're constantly drinking wine? Absolutely, yes. Good for yes. you. Have a great cruise, all right? Thank you, Katie. Bye-bye, Thanks Katie. very much. Bye. Bye-bye. It's dinner time. This is so ritualistic, I always come to the beach house on the first night. I can't help myself. 
sorry, if you book the beach house in advance, it's seven pounds fifty online, which is really good value. And then if you've got any loyalty discounts, you can apply those. Uh, I believe it's about nine or nine pound fifty to book on board. And included in your price, you'll get a starter, main course, and dessert. And you'll notice some of the dishes here come with a surcharge. So, for example, if you're going to have the love or salt block prime fillet steak, um, it's going to cost you extra. Cheers, everybody. Here's to a fabulous cruise. And if it's not, I'll throw this against the wall. Pokey bowl for me. <laughs> I still can't ever say that. I'm laughing. <laughs> I've got the Mexican pokey bowl. You've never had a pokey like it. Let's do this. Let me tell you why I love a pokey. It's it's really light, it's fresh, it's zesty, delicious. A couple of tips for you. Don't worry if you haven't finished your drink in a bar or something and you've got a, a dinner reservation, just take it with you. Walk with your wine. Another tip, come to somewhere like the Beach House or another speciality restaurant on night number one. It's a little bit calmer, it's more relaxed. They get busier as the week progresses. And also, I always find on the first night, people are finding their feet just a little bit and the main dining room can be a tiny bit hectic. I don't do hectic. Oh, it's a little happy face. I love it. I've got the chicken finger fajitas and they are sizzling like bad girls and boys. Well, they've definitely upped the portion size in here, folks. Oh, there's all sorts of juice dripping out the bottom. No one likes a drippy bottom, do they? All right, so it's very nice, but the chicken and vegetables haven't had a chance to char properly. And because there's so much, I know, right? I'm not moaning about the fact there's loads, I love that. But it's not charred all the way through. That's my only critique, but it is tasty. Oh, have you noticed I've got a massive halo? This is the low sugar apple pie, which comes with a vanilla yogurt sorbet. What is this little testicle thing? Is that a crab apple? What is it, folks? Right, it's the first time I've had one of these apple pies in the beach house and not enjoyed it. The pastry is not actually cooked all the way through and there's a real pungent taste about it today. If I were still hungry, I would have sent that back and asked for a new one. This is the weird ass production rise in the Sky Dome. Ordinarily, I'd push Matthew here, wouldn't I? I've got no one to push. Oh, look at this in a cruel twist of fate. They're taking an hour away from us tonight already. Uh, Hong Kong. <laughs> Definitely the way to end an evening. Pringles and Sigourney with the aliens. Why not? I'm gonna lose an hour, I might as well do it in style. No, no, no. That's the Oh. I've got a new Carmen pillow mist. Thank you, Sarah. Gifted by Sarah. Let's get ready for bed, hey? Oh, lovely. Mmm, lavender and vetiver. Oh, I feel calm. Oh, that smells gorgeous. Listen, thank you so much to so many people who came to say hello today. I had never ever had so many of you come and say hi or get a selfie etc i want to know where these selfies end up on the internet can you tag me at least <laughs> uh, it's just been quite overwhelming actually i've loved meeting you all anyway time for beddy pools no pooing in bed good night and i love most of you i don't love you so much or you you however Oh my God, you little minx. Good night and I'll see you tomorrow. We've got a sea day, it's gonna be awesome. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. I am no longer taking it easy. All right, cabin steward, do your thing.
I am off to the Epicurean restaurant for my breakfast today. It is ordinarily reserved for sweet guests and I am infiltrating. I have been invited to try out a breakfast there. I'm really sorry to all you sweet guests who feel this is unfair. I'm really sorry. The Epicurean is located forward on deck 17. Uh, it's just here and that's the crow's nest. Can't wait to show you that one a little bit later. Well, I'm fashionably early. I'm the only one here at the moment. Come on, people in sweets, rise and shine. And the menu here is definitely different from the one in the main dining room. What would you choose? Oh my God, they've got an omelette Arnold Bennett. I always felt I should have been called Arnold. Oh, a nice start to the day. Life force. Well, this is definitely a very nice start to the day. I slept like a log by the way, we have nice, gentle rolling through, not like that, <laughs> gentle rolling through the night, always helps me to drift off. But I have woken up with a little bit of a cold, so I'm gonna monitor that closely, because you know what us men are like with colds. All right, I'm starting off with some melon and yogurt. It ordinarily comes with honey, but I'm avoiding that. Ooh, this looks nice. Well, I've never had breakfast in the Epicurean before. I've been there for dinner, which was lovely. It was excellent and such a calm environment. What I didn't know is I've apparently been booked in there every day of this cruise. Oh, I'm gonna get so much hate out there, but don't you worry. I will be comparing it with the main dining room and the keys and the buffet. Of course I will. I'll be back in the crow's nest a little bit later today, actually, because there's a Facebook group meetup. Um, but let me show you around before it gets busier. It's a fabulous space. Love it in here. So relaxed. There's normally a pianist in the evenings. And if we had better weather today, you would see some fabulous blue skies and oceans all the way around. It's also quite a big venue, as you can see. It spans all the way around here. Oh, it smells like fresh linen in here this morning. Ah, oh, I could just bathe in here if they had a bathtub. What a weird thing to say. Oh, hello. Just in case you've forgotten where you are, folks, thank goodness for this. All right, I showed you the Sky Dome by night. Here it is by day. Perfect for uh, a colder cruise like this one. Uh, it's raining cats and dogs out at the moment, so lots of families enjoying pool life. It's about half nine in the morning, so already quite busy. Well, it may be a winter cruise, but it's mild so far. You never know what you're gonna get. A lot of hate online from some of the ambassador cruise line aficionados um, saying, why are you complaining that the pools are empty? Who on earth would swim in a pool in the winter? I mean, do they know anything about cold water swimming, by the way? However, on board, Iona, these pools are heated very nicely at the moment, hence people using the pools. That'll be me soon as well, by the way. So many of you ask me for an overview of the events and activities taking place during the daytime at sea. So here's a look at the horizon. And yes, p &O do have solo get togethers every day. And also some of you have asked if there is an LGBTQ plus meet. And yes, there is one every afternoon. Don't forget, there is a diary function on the myholiday.pocruises.com webpage so you can check out what you have booked. I'm getting waved at by this lovely crew. Have a nice swim. Good temperature? Yeah, it's good temperature. Happy cruises. I just love seeing it. I love it. I've just had a hilarious message for someone on Instagram saying they don't like my Iona vlogs because I don't show, and I quote, the attractions. What kind of attractions are those that we're talking about? The onboard theme park, water park, ice skating rink. What attractions are you talking about, my darling? You are one slice of bread short of being a meat sandwich. You can't please everyone all the time and you can't please some people anytime, it's true. You can help yourself to pool towels. Normally they are poolside. They are not located in your cabin, okay? Let's do this. Oh, by the way, I've got new swimming trunks. I know they're not tropical, but I love baby blue. Or is this tugboat blue? What color would you call them? Well, the water temperature is awesome. I could be in the Caribbean right now. You would never know, would you? It is nice in here. It is cold getting out but I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna make it. See the steam out there? Chilly around the willy, choppy around the channel. I'm always asked, what is the North Sea like? 
uh, at any time of year. Well, look, it's February and it's pretty calm, isn't it? We've got deck quite competitions going on out here on deck. Oh, well done, lady. I absolutely love that you can be doing a winter cruise on the North Sea and everyone's making the most of the outdoor spaces. Fab. Up on deck 19 at the aft, you've got the sports arena, which is very well used. Golf nets here. High up on deck 18 at the aft, you've got the panorama pool. At the aft of deck 16, Lido deck, you have the infinity pool. Did you know that Iona has four pools, six infinity whirlpool spas and 12 whirlpool spas, not to mention the hydro pool in the thermal suite. Worth noting as well, there are supervisors who roam the pools, no lifeguards, so make sure you take care of your little kitty winkles and adults who've had too much to drink. Mm-hmm, I know who you are. Blimey, look at the size of those whirlpools. Oh, look, my cabin steward has folded my comfies. That is lovely, very homely. Here's another tip for you, my darlings. Yep, you've got your own washing line in your shower. Ta-da! By the way, if you book an excursion with Pino, your tickets will be posted to your cabin. Awesome. Mine go on the wall, though. Oh, look, it's J4. Um, oh, I don't know, actually. Don't say jerk. Thank you, Beastas, for another fab iced coffee. Ice, ice, latte. Bing, 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 bing. Just had a lovely couple come and speak to me, and the husband said, my wife makes me watch you. And I said, what else does she make you do? And then they ran away. There are pop-up aerialist acts in the evenings, just along the starboard side of the atrium. Climb, my beauty, climb. Love my atrium life, I do. Right, I'm in the club lounge, ready for the vocalist workshop. <laughs> if you saw my Arcadia vlog, you'll know I join the choir, quit the choir, join the choir. What will happen today? I do love a bit of club lounge, I must say. And there's always something going on in here during the day and the evening. Facebook meet and greet. Um, I didn't organise it by the way. There's lots of people here just gifted this drink by a lovely couple. I didn't ask for it by the way, they literally just brought it over to me. There's a double in there, I can tell. I am trained in these things, double vodka all the way. Uh, I wasn't going to drink anything during the daytime either. What a lush! I'm just being transparent that that lovely couple I talked about earlier have gifted me another drink. And I've said to them, have I not? I've said no more. Thank you. I do appreciate you though. Thank you. Hola, salud! Hola, como esta? Muy bien, gracias! That wasn't planned. <laughs> All right, I've come to the Keys for a very late lunch. Question is, what are you going to have? Fish and chips? A bit of Asian food? Or the American grill? And just around the corner, you have buffet items. So you've got your salads, tuna niçoise salad, Waldorf salad, mixed leaf, orange fennel and radish salad. That's vegan. You have a selection of desserts as well. And help yourself to coffee, tea, water, juice in the morning. I mean, you could have something from all three stations if you really wanted to. Go for it, you're on holiday. Just a few nibbles for me for now. 
low sugar muffin. I'm in heaven. Here's how to eat one without getting it all over your chops. Like a sandwich. Oh, look how beautiful it is now, folks. Don't underestimate the North Sea in the winter. It's actually really mild out here as well. It's beautiful. I think I'm gonna catch some rays for a little bit of time. Oh, how relaxing is this? Beautiful. Right, the sun is setting. I've met this lovely couple, God bless them. You want to shout out for someone? I want to say a big happy 21st birthday to Megan and a big well done to Jenna for passing her theory test. Yay, and Yay. also, this one's going to be 60 soon. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Uh, yes, Perfect. yeah, minus 20. Happy cruise days. Happy cruise happy days. Cruise day. Everybody must be getting ready for dinner. Look, infinity pool and bar, nice and quiet. Love it. What a beautiful end to the day. Absolutely unbelievable. Look what this lovely couple gave us. They said, this is for you and Matthew. I'll have the white one. How kind is that? So we're heading to Bremerhaven in Germany, Rotterdam in the Netherlands and Zeebrugge in Belgium. And as you can see, we are overnight in Bremerhaven and also Rotterdam, although Rotterdam is the stop where we have longer import. Hi Jamie, it's Sue here, your German teacher from over 30 years ago. Great that we're still in touch and great that I can still be teaching you a little bit of German. So you're traveling to a place and the pronunciation is Bremerhaven. I'll say that again, Bremerhaven, because V's are pronounced like F's. Hope you have a great time, Auf Wiedersehen. I'm ready for the evening. And just because I'm cruising solo doesn't mean I don't know how to have a good time. One cube, two cubes, rah, rah, rah. Ooh, Smirnoff. How much goes in? How much you reckon? Sugar-free mixer. And the latest addition to my cabin comforts. Ready? <laughs> it's disco time. Don't judge me, darlings. Happy atrium day. Oh, I'm not filming that way, you're fine. <laughs> I always get in people's way, I'm really sorry. All right, tucked away in the corner is the 710 Club. We are talking Intimate Show Lounge, and I love a bit of intimacy. Well, this show is at 7 p.m. and I've arrived about 10 minutes early. It's already quite busy, as you can see. Uh, but if you have booked ahead, you are gonna get priority seating. Apparently, cocktails chosen by Gary Barlow. I don't know if I believe that. Gary, are you watching? Can you confirm, please? At long last, passion fruit martini. And these are strong AF and sour, just like a moi. Well, they were very good. They're actually playing four sets tonight. The latest one being at quarter past midnight. That's the one you're most likely to get a seat for, by the way. This is the Emerald Bar, which is always super busy on board Iona. Some fabulous, unique cocktails here as well. Not to mention fantabulous pianist, of course. Told you so. Join the queue to eat at the Keeling Cow. Once your table's ready, you'll receive a notification. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to get to the Keeling Cow for my reservation, and so many lovely people are stopping me. I'm like, oh my god, am I late? Oh, I like how speedy this man is. He walks quickly. He's faster than Matthew, you know. Each dish at the Keeling Cow is priced individually, so have as many as you want. They are quite big though, so be careful. I know you like your portions big. Don't try and con me into thinking you don't. Let's have a peep at those main courses and the prices as well. Always have nice meals here. It's all cooked to order. So they ask you to allow about 40 to 45 minutes for your food. Cold and crisp. Just 
Oh, this is one of my all time favorite dishes, actually. This is the uh, Indian inspired vegan pudding. It's absolutely stupendous. Oh my God, that smells amazing. Honestly, I've never had an explosion in the mouth like that. Oh. I take that back. Absolutely sublime, really fantastic. Alrighty, that was fabulous dinner, and now it's time for the not so silent, silent disco. So, as you know, I've got a cold, and apparently, I need to be what is it you call it? Medi, medi back. I've got to be airlifted off, haven't I? Because I'm unwell. So, can someone come and get me by helicopter, please? Thank you very much. I'm ready for ya. Can't hear anything. Can't hear anything. I'm getting pointed at by people. Look, it's the gorgeous Ludlows. Couple goals right here. Hashtag couple goals. I'm trying to be silent. Oh, right. Jesus. Jesus. The night is gonna get on the floor. Look at this, look. He's got all the mood. It's smooth. Ooh, light. I don't mind telling you this is way too much fun. I'm sweating buckets. I gotta rehydrate. Love it. <laughs> I really want to go in the pool, but no one will let me. Why? What have I done wrong to you all? Thanks very much, Jamie, for your uh, your blogs. Listen to this guy, because he knows what he's on about. Um, <laughs> You're the only one who's ever said that. And you want to share a link, don't you? Yeah, so like, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube. It's Aux, it's spelled A-O-U-X-I-Z. It's a gaming channel, so like, please drop a sub, because I'd right, appreciate it. I'm all into my gaming channels, you know that, don't you? <laughs> all right, have a good Thanks cruise. Thanks very much, Jamie. Bye. Bye. Can I just say a massive thank you to the lovely, the awesome Maddie. She's seven years old. That's old. And she's from Leeds. And look, she's made me this little um, package. How gorgeous is that? Thank you, Maddie. You're fabulous. Just finishing off Aliens. But can I just point this out? Look, someone sabotaged me Pringles. I can't do me Pringles song. They've all been destroyed somehow. Pillow Mist and Aliens. What a perfect combo. Try not to get it in my face. Oh. Oh, that's so nice. That's going to really help me drift off to sleep, isn't it? And to think we'll be in Germany tomorrow. Awesome. And tomorrow night I'm going to Sindhu for a bit of speciality Asian dining. I'll see you tomorrow, my darlings. I love you, 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 not you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Bremerhaven. Time for breakfast. Alrighty, I've come to the keys for my breakfast. And as you can see, each station offers something different. Pancakes, waffles, omelettes, different style eggs there, and full English breakfast. Oh, it is busy at the keys, folks. About 10 a.m., so it's coming to the end of the breakfast service. Waffle for me with some blueberries. Well, I had a bit of a lion today, much needed. I mean, I've got a man cold after all. Um, the only downside of that is going to breakfast at the keys or indeed the buffet, it seems to be much busier the later you get up. <clears throat> I'm used to going a bit earlier when it's quieter, so a bit chaotic, just hidden away in a little corner. Nobody puts Jamie at this, they do. Um, iced coffee, calm, lovely, jubbly. We'll actually be staying in Bremerhaven overnight and until 9am tomorrow morning. Bremerhaven is a port city on Germany's North Sea coast. A quick search on TripAdvisor will give you the top attractions featured in Bremerhaven. 
be sure to look at the websites for each attraction to check opening and closing times. However, on this occasion, I'll be taking a P&O transfer of about one hour from Bremerhaven to Bremen. Now and then the screens on board just by the staircases have all the information you need about any shore experiences in terms of times, uh, where you need to go, bus numbers, etc. The weather, when you need to be back on board, we need to be back tomorrow, believe it or not, and whether you need passports ashore. Oh yes, we are here overnight could get up to all sorts of mischief, couldn't you? Super easy to find the gangway. It's actually just off the Grand Atrium. So you just zap out on the bridge we go. Don't forget to check or indeed take a picture of when you need to be back on board and officially on German soil. Hallo Deutschland, is that how you say it? Alrighty, I'm on transfer to Bremen, a medieval city, not too far from Bremerhaven. You can get there independently by bus and train. You need to take the P&O shuttle into the center of Bremerhaven, which is four pounds each way. If you are cheapskate there like me, save a bit. Otherwise, no extra payment if you are select there. Once you get there, you need to take a bus to the train station. And then I think it's about a 30 minute train journey um, to get to Bremen. I'm being totes lazy today. I paid 49 pounds for this transfer, which is quite a lot. I'm just lazy, what can I say? Oh, double decker bus today. Willkommen, welcome to Bremen. We made it. So my plans for today are, oh, oh, I don't have any. I'm literally winging it. And I'm very excited about that. <laughs> Well, first thing I'm going to do is start off with this river walk, which looks very pleasant, actually. Oh my goodness, the Admiral Nelson is actually a pancake house. Of course it is. Still lucky with the weather. I can't believe it's February. Alrighty, I'm finding things out, my darlings. This is actually the Vesa River and its promenade. I'm going to double back on myself because there looks like a really nice street along here. Cute. Oh, look, you can sit in your own barrel here. Why not? Well, very pleasant indeed so far. I imagine this street in particular uh, comes to life at night. Being back in Germany reminds me, I need to learn to say more than just, I'd like a potato salad and I have a big snake. That's all I can say in German. I'm really sorry, Sue Saunders, my old German teacher. In fairness to you, you only taught us for the last year though. <laughs> Well, this is cute. It's the Robinson Crusoe house. Apparently, Robinson's father was a citizen of Bremen. Didn't know that. There's a tour going on behind me. I'm just getting some info for free. <laughs> what a cheapskate I am. <laughs> this is so pretty. I wasn't expecting this. You see, just walk, get lost, and you end up in beautiful places like this. Wow. Feeling quite smug with myself, if I don't mind saying. Whoa, look at this. Stunning. Oh God, that flute thing's annoying as hell though, isn't it? Hey? <laughs> Flower market. Oh, bright light. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, they love their sausage, don't they? Best map ever. Look, that's where we are right now, right here. Well, this is Market Hall 8. Not all open at the moment, but it looks like a really nice place to come and get a drink, some food. 
Look at all the open space here, folks. Love it. Ooh. Now then, we started off around this area, and if you remember, walked down the promenade, and then back up into Altstadt and the town hall and the St. Peter's Cathedral. Just coming this way now to Bischofsnadel and this river. I know my German is terrible. You don't have to tell me. I'll work on it. Ooh, this looks very nice. Now then, I don't want to get too close because I am a kind of PG-13 kind of channel, but I'm sure I can see some big boars down there. To be honest with you, Santa's probably working all year round, so... Yeah, let's go and have a look. Wow, he looks a bit different from what I remember. It's like everywhere you look, something out of a fairy tale. Wow, sirs, I'm just in awe. I really am. This alleyway, there's a restaurant down these steps. I don't even know I can get through there. It looks tiny. Well, sometimes a change of port is a bit of a blessing, isn't it? Am I gonna fit down here? Oh, just. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's just incredible. And there was me thinking I wouldn't find enough to do here for a few hours. Wrong. Long overdue coffee break. I learned this one. And another. Let's end our visit here with some annoying music, shall we? <laughs> oh my God. I can't, I just can't anymore. Take me back to the ship. Oh, stop, please stop. Right, about an hour later, we are back at the terminal. Now then, the staff at the port have been quite prickly and grumpy. <laughs> Didn't mention that on the way out. Let's see what they're like now. Okay, they were really friendly, not like the ones on the way out. Dan Kushun. I'm back. Oh, another tip actually, bring a water bottle because there are water fountains dotted around this ship. Awesome. Thank goodness for Mr. Squirty Squash. I am part, so I must say, come on. Cabin party for one coming up. <laughs> Woo! Quick check-in, are you all all right? Post those numbers, zero, no, 10, fantabulous. Anyway, cheers. No drinks packaged for me again, my darlings. Uh, I get asked every time I cruise on Pino. I just don't drink enough alcohol to warrant it. And I know you think I do, but have you been counting this week? How many do you think I've had? I will, of course, tell you how much my bill comes to at the end of the week. All right, let's get this turned down ready. Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Oh, dead duck. Rest in peace, my darling. All right, let's do this evening. Best kept secret, Sindhu bar for immediate drinks. Sindhu bar is actually attached to Sindhu Speciality Asian Dining and that's where I'm heading later. I know you're not surprised about that. I know you're not. I'm not either. I'm just saying that came within minutes. Thank you. Am I thanking Jesus? No, I'm not thanking Jesus. I get in trouble. Look, look how many seats are available here at Sindhu bar. Fiona Forsyth will be so cross with me for revealing this again. I'm going in, and you know what? I could eat a shaggy dog's tail. You know this, don't you? Oh, please give me so much spice that I'm gonna have issues in the morning. Please do. I can't believe I've got a booth to myself. Thank you very much. Ooh, shiny. Alrighty, folks. If you're eating at Cinder, you can actually book this in advance of your cruise, and you'd put down a £10 deposit, which is then taken off your bill at the end of the evening. As you can see, each dish is individually priced, and I don't know why I said it like that. The great thing about Sindhu is if you want 15 starters and to forfeit your main and dessert, go for it, my loves. You can do what you want here. You absolutely can have as many courses as you desire. Whilst I won't be having any desserts, it would be remiss of me to not show you what's on offer here. What would you have? 
when I was in Sindhu recently on PNO's Arcadia, they asked what kind of spicing level you want. And I'm like, oh, at the top, totally at the top. Now on board Iona, they didn't ask me and the other passengers have mentioned that they weren't asked. So when I said, oh, spicing of the aromatic chicken curry, what's it like? He said, it's mild, sir, no problem. But then he said, would you like me to add um, more chili? I'm like, how yes. So make sure you ask if you like it spicy. And we start with some complimentary poppadoms and chutneys. Mm, they're all great. My favorite was the aubergine chutney. It's got fire. Oh, look, we got a live kitchen. I bloody love a live kitchen, I do. If you know anything about me, you'll be aware one of my favorite Southern Indian dishes is a dozer. It's like an Indian style lentil kind of pancake slash crepe. This one has a spiced paneer in the middle. As always, it's absolutely delicious. I actually think this is one of the best ones I've had on any of the PO ships. It has good spice level, nice soft onion as well, which just brings a little bit of sweetness to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I know you don't like me being negative about anything, but I've been sat here for quite some time now. No water, no drink, no nothing. People would be like, yes, Jamie, the busy. I'm like, yeah. I want some liquid. Whoa, my main has arrived. Look at all that. So I have naan, uh, there's a, a dry vegetable curry, dal, basmati rice. There's my aromatic red curry chicken magubi. Oh, look how much chili they put on top of me. Awesome. Noodles. And these are all the condiments to go on the noodles. So you have things like garlic oil, onion oil, chili oil. Anything with oil, basically. All right, we'll have a little bit of this chili oil. Oh, peanut powder, they call this. I think this is the onion one. Give it a good mix, eh? What a feast, eh? Wow. I don't mean to be graphic or anything. Oh, look, we got dripping. Uh, if you don't like graphic, close your ears now. This is so spicy, and I love that. It's going to hurt tomorrow. Mm -mm -mm. Everything on that plate is absolutely top-notch. Very well done, Zindu. Hi everyone, it's Hello. Rachel and Wills from Postcard and a Pint. We were swimming in the pool the other day, and who did we see? We saw... Travel Vlog Jamie. Travel Vlog Jamie. <laughs> Half naked. <laughs> Half naked. <laughs> I hadn't got him by that point. But yeah, if we love watching these videos. He was watching videos, us off yeah, naked. We love watching these videos, and if you want to pop across, check out our videos, we'd be really, really grateful. Do some crew stuff, do a bit of travel stuff. Well, it's all travel stuff, but yeah. a bit of crew stuff, a bit of whatever. There'll be some of there. And pints. And pints. And pints. Pints, pints of <laughs> vodka. And a terrible joke. <laughs> Not terrible bad. joke at the end yeah. of every episode. Oh, fab Cheers, fabulous. Everyone. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> have a good week. Thank you. Just one more for me. Oh, some lovely people come and say hi tonight. Hello to all of you, by the way. Now, on this passion fruit, they put popping candy. I can't have that. I just tasted it. It looked like um, like crumbled shortbread or something. And I'm like, oh, popping sensation in the mouth. Are you ready for this? Drop your guesses below. <laughs> Well, we might be nearing the end of part one, but there is so much more to come. Roll the wheel, the sizzling reel. Roll it. Coming up on Travel Blog Jamie, I enter a pancake tossing competition. What to expect from celebration night, dinner at the Olive Grove, Valentine's Day, two full days in Rotterdam, including water taxis, market hall, getting stuck in a food loop, Inside a 380,000 euro cube house, I'm fortunate enough to spend a whole night on board SS Rotterdam, sample a breakfast in the main dining room, tour the engine and steam rooms, an extra wild setting on the water taxis, I brave Euromast at 185 meters, back on board Iona for a night at the Limelight Club with Deborah Stevenson, and I take to the stage to entertain. See you the next time, I love you all. Oh, apart from that meat sandwich you messaged me to say I'd ruined his and his girlfriend's holiday.
Get over yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping me reach 24,000 subscribers. Today's shout outs go to my patrons of tiers three, four, and five. You can become a patron by searching patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on X, Threads, Instagram, and YouTube.